Good morning. How you doing this morning? Tell you what, I slept like a baby last night. Feel good too. Got my morning coffee. Yes, I will be having it while doing this sermon. I um, uh, haven't been up in about 15 minutes. This one's called Walk the Walk, Talk the Talk. Mm, gonna be a good one. So, we have Christians in this world. I will admit, I am a Christian. I love Jesus. I'm in love with my Jesus. And, you know, we can walk around all day long and tell everybody, yes, I'm a Christian, I believe in God. That's talking the talk. But, do you really walk the walk? Do you? I'm not judging. I'm not blasting. I'm just keeping it real. People going to look at you. And they're going to judge your life. There's always somebody out there waiting for you to mess up. So they can say, uh-huh. Look at that person. They supposed to be a Christian. Look at what they doing. I hate to say it, folks, but it's the truth. Now, as a Christian, you're supposed to be Christ-like. You see, you can't just walk around and say, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. But, you know, act stupid so to speak. You can't cuss people. Mm -mm. Smoke your pot, drink your beer, have adulterous affairs. Mm -mm. I hate to inform you of this, but that is not Christ-like. Jesus Christ was a kind man. He helped anybody and everybody. He showed people how to be kind, how to treat each other. He showed people the way to get to God, his Father. Now, if you really want to talk the talk and walk the walk, you have to get committed to it. You just can't get up and say, Okay, let's walk the walk. And the first time you get mad, blast somebody. Mm -mm. That's not going to help you out. People are going to look at you. Think about it now. You're riding down the road. Got your best friend with you. Trying to lead this person to Christ. You know, in your own little subtle way, you trying to be Christ-like. You stopped at a red light. You got to or else get hit. The person in front of you, when the light turns green, takes like forever to move their car. What do you do? You lay down on the horn. You start cussing at them, calling them all kinds of names. Your friend's going to look at you and say, hmm, He's supposed to be a Christian. But look at what they're doing. Road rage. Hmm. Think about it now. Think about it. Now, we're all not perfect. No, we're not perfect. We sin. That is what we do. Even Christians sin. I'll admit I'm not the perf you know, I'm not perfect all the time. But the Lord does forgive you. That's what's so great about His amazing grace. That's why we are able to walk the walk and talk the talk. Tell you something. As a Christian, you can walk around here all you want, and you can tell people that you believe in God. But if your actions don't show it, people are not going to believe you. You can uh, give people mementos, clothes, your personal belongings, you know, gifts. 
parents can leave stuff to their kids. The material things are going to fade in time. They can get broken. They can get lost. They can get stolen. But you know what's going to last forever with people? Reputations. The way you treat other people, that's going to last forever throughout eternity. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about walk. The walk. The way you treat other people. People that see you doing that. That's what they're going to remember. Your legacy. You know, it, it's all fine and dandy. In fact, I believe in letting people know I'm a Christian. But at the same time, you can't just talk to talk. You got to walk the walk. Trust me. When I die and go to heaven, I don't want my family to remember me for being an old crabby old lady. Mm -mm. I want them to remember the sweet things I did, the good stuff I did, the things I did for the church. I want to have a good legacy left behind when I die. That is what I'm working on. As a Christian, every day we have to work in our lives to show somebody even if it is just family the Christ-like attitude see that is the deal here if you're just walking around talking telling people yes I believe in God hallelujah praise Jesus he's my savior and you got that same old mean attitude you got the road rage you flying off the handle every two or three minutes Somebody's going to look at you and say, well, that's not very Christ-like. Something to think about. Is there something in your life you need to change so you can talk the talk and walk the walk like I do? Like my pastor does? Think about it, people. Think about it long and hard. That bad reputation you got right now, you can change it. You can. You can turn your whole life around. I've done it. I used to do the drugs, drink, cuss. Yeah, I was I was a partier. Changed my life around for the better. I'm more at peace now. Think about it. Can you really walk the walk? Can you truly talk the talk? Think about it. If you have trouble with either one, give your life to Christ. He's there for you. He'll save your soul. He'll give you peace. He'll turn your life around. If you don't have a church to come to, I invite you to come to mine. Kingdom Culture in Asheboro, North Carolina. Highway 64. Right across from Randolph Mall. Peace out. God bless. As always, I love you. Hope this blesses somebody.